Hey, I'm back and I have the great pleasure to introduce Ann Dinshaw. She is a lifetime vegan, lifetime vegan, and third generation vegetarian. Wow. She's the author of Dating Vegans and the co-author with Freya Dinshaw of Apples, Bean Dip, and Carrot Cake, Kids Teach Yourself to Cook. Currently, she is on a national book tour and is a professional rowing coach who teaches clinics throughout the country. She's mom to vegan Clint, who likes to wear his calf costume. Please welcome Ann Dinshaw. Woo! Thank you. I'm here today representing the American Vegan Society, which was founded by my father, Jay Dinshaw, in 1960. And I came along in 1969, kind of was born into the family business, veganism. But never has there been a more exciting time than now. Exciting things like the Veggie Pride Parade. Woohoo! Veggie Pride. So, one of my books is a kid's book. And I ask you, what is the biggest problem with children's health today? The answer is parents. Not just any parents. I'm talking about parents who do drive through Parents who eat the standard American diet. And parents who are unhealthy role models. So break the cycle. Kids, teach yourself to cook. We have a book for you. Kids actually like to eat things that are healthy, even vegetables, especially if they prepare them. And adults are secretly learning how to cook with our new book. But what's the easiest way to get more vegans? Well, date non-vegans. This book will tell you how, dating vegans. Cook for them, impress them, the best way to get to a person's heart is through their stomach. So buy a vegan cookbook today. Now what's the first thing that people notice about vegans? It's your glow. How vibrant and full of energy you are. Be yourself. Show off a little. It'll attract others. Glow vegan. Now that brings up a good point. How many vegans does it take to screw in a light bulb? Just one. But any vegan can shine the way for others. Ahimsa lights the way. I bet by now you're wondering, hey, she's been working over at that American vegan table. What book? gets the most foreplay at any table. Well, that would be dating vegans. You can show it some love, give it as a gift to a non-vegan. They will learn a lot about what you think and why you make the decisions you make. You can buy it for yourself or give it to someone. Makes a great one night stand. Some of my friends only know one vegan. They know me. I asked my friend Dave. I said, Dave, you know one vegan, me. What is a vegan? He said, someone who never has sex. Right? Uh, we shared a good laugh. And then I informed him that vegans eat plants. We respect the animals, our health, and the environment. And next I'm gonna buy him Linda Long's book, Virgin Vegan. The Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations advocates cutting consumption of animals in half just to keep the earth from getting in a worse mood than it already is, destroyed by raising animals for food. So let's help the earth to heal how about not eating animals altogether? A lot of people aren't ready for that, so we have to help them along the way. 
I ease them into it by inviting them to dinner. I ask them, what are your three favorite vegetables? It tells a lot about the person with just one simple question. When I asked my friend Gary, what are your three favorite vegetables? He said, can I have an easier question? So we decided we'd have to go to the supermarket together and go up and down the aisles of the produce and I'd point to things, tell him the names of them. He'd tell me whether he'd eat them or not. And well, that relationship kind of fizzled. So I moved on to Jeff. I said, Jeff, what are your three favorite vegetables? He said the green ones, the orange ones, and the yellow ones. Wow, that man should be perfect for me. Unfortunately for him, I'm also a cookbook author and I like a challenge. So he got dumped. Met up with Jeff a year later. I said, Jeff, so good to see you. What are your three favorite vegetables? He said, carrots, broccoli, and spinach. I said, want to come to dinner? Things are going really well, and then I discovered he was tofu-phobic, like so many people. Tofu-phobic, I bet you know one of those. So I asked him to help me cook. We made a delicious choco cheesecake together with berries on top. He swallowed his tofu disparaging pride and asked me for a second piece. His brother called when we were out on a date. He said, a vegan, what are you doing? Jeff said, it's all right. I like vegetables, it'll be okay. Three years later, his brother is dating a vegan. Guess what he got for Christmas? <laughs> so it's great to see you all here today. But I ask you, what are you doing tomorrow? Do something meaningful. Build a bridge with someone who's not vegan yet. Come and buy some vegan books. And tomorrow, you'll know someone who will newly glow vegan. Thank you.